Hello, teachers, and welcome to the last lesson of the week. This is the Assess Your Learning lesson. We've, this is the second one we've done. We've done one of these before. But remember that our goal right now is we want to come up with ways within the lesson to help you to get your students engaged and excited, get them talking in class. And this lesson has starts out with a great activity. If you jump right to this first activity here, you'll see there are three versions of it. You can sing the song about the wise man and the foolish man, house on the rock, house on the sand, or you can have them draw it, or you can actually build it. Now, for those of you on Zoom or some kind of distance learning, uh, these first two may be an option that you can use. Uh, I'm gonna provide one other option. If you have a live class though, Definitely, if you can, do option three. It gets the kids moving around. It's, it, it gets them talking and laughing, and that really opens the door to their interest in answering questions and engaging. So let me show you the fourth option that I will put a link for in the description below the video so that you can download it and use it in class if this would be a better option. But don't use it as a replacement if one of these others are going to work better. I made a simple graphic to illustrate the house on the rock and the house on the sand. And then the rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand washed away. I'll make a short video clip of that. Again, just use it if it's helpful. You'll find the link in the description. Another suggestion that can really help your students if they're having trouble talking or answering questions, sometimes it's that we ask too many questions. So what do I mean? Here we've got an example in the lesson. Answer one or more of the following questions. Sometimes we may miss that instruction and ask all three of those questions. That can lead to overlap. It can lead to question fatigue. They're just tired of answering questions. So pay attention to those instructions. Answer one or more. Maybe it is appropriate to use all three. But maybe just with one question, that will be enough to kick off your discussion. There's another place in the lesson where it mentions this. If you scroll down to the heading is assess your ability to resist and overcome evil through faith in Jesus Christ right here. Include two or more of the following in your response. Don't feel like you need to ask all of these questions. For example, if you choose, what do you know about Jesus Christ that could help your friend feel loved and motivated to continue resisting temptation? Here's a great opportunity to use this question and build off of the answers. Perhaps someone might answer, um, what do I know about Jesus Christ? Um, that he's very patient with us. Great, follow up on that. In what way is Jesus patient with us? Have you ever experienced Jesus being patient with you? Or can you think of an example in the scriptures where Jesus demonstrates that virtue? We'll work more on follow-up questions in the next week. But for now, use that activity at the beginning and don't overdo on questions. There's a lot we can do to generate a discussion with just one or two. Have a great lesson and we'll see you next week.